Good morning, everybody. And this morning, I'm finally going to get into a request that's been asked of me a few times about uh, going through uh, what it's like to uh, start a chairlift. So I'll just give you the process real quick. I'm actually doing this a little backwards as I was already at the top of the hill and I remembered I wanted to do this video for you guys. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you what I check. So initially I do my checks starting at the bottom. I um, fire up the main power to the lift and then check the safety circuit to make sure everything's all right. And that way, if there is an issue, I've got a bit of a heads up when I come up here. That said, I'm pretty sure this thing should be all set to go, but I'll again, go through everything that I am checking when I'm doing a uh, morning check on a ski lift here. And just a gorgeous September morning here. So, gonna go out and check the buttons. I got buttons inside and outside the hut here, so I just wanna make sure they're all in the reset position. I'm doing a visual inspection, making sure there's no trees on the haul rope, making sure alignment on the towers all looks good. And I'll show you that as I come down. Okay, safety gates in. Yes, I gotta tape it up to make sure it's taut, but for right now, that's gonna work. I just quick look down the line. All right, everything's looking good. When I'm looking at the towers, so go through some components here. So, shiv assembly, cross arm, lifting frame, comm line, and then the haul rope is here. So I wanna make sure that the haul rope is traveling dead center down the shiv trains. And again, like I was saying, we're making sure there's no branches, no debris, nothing's hung up, and all these components are all good to go. So let's take a tour down and uh, make sure she's all good. Sorry that's gonna be a bit loud, but as we're going down, again, I'm just checking to make sure that the cable is in proper alignment on the shift trains. Again, running right down the middle. The chairs all look good. There's no surprises. There's nothing laying on the cable or the comm line. The towers all look good. And in the winter, of course, I'm checking the towers, making sure the groomer didn't find one. All the things to look for here. But so far, looking pretty good as we should because I just rebuilt this fine chairlift. Okay, here we are in the operator's hut down the bottom. So you can see here's our safety circuit and motor controller all here. So I'm just going to flip on our main breakers. Away she goes. This lift has been uh, retrofitted with a modern EC drive, so it's quite nice. So, control power on. And we're just gonna let her boot up here for a sec. This one's pretty quick. All of our lifts here use back off uh, safety circuits. So for, very reliable system, not bad at all. So, okay, so here we can see all of your uh, indicators for your safety circuit. We're gonna do a reset. Green light on the drive and tower three. Oh, there it goes. All right, so now the lift should be good to run, but before we do that, let's go in the motor room and we'll do a quick inspection there. Okay, here we are up in the motor room. So what I'm looking for here is, here's our main gearbox. We're just gonna double check the oil level and we're looking good. A little past halfway on the sight glass, perfect. I'm just doing a quick inspection. These are our brake controllers for the service and emergency brake. I'm just checking for leaks, making sure we have coolant and we're good there. Here's our tensioning unit. Pressures are all good. Again, we had a green light, so I'm sure it's fine, but it's always just good to have a visual, no leaks. This particular chairlift has a drive shaft, so but on the others, we have uh, belts, so you want to do a quick visual on those. And then we'll fire up the evac motor here just to make sure it's all good to go. And I don't know if I can do this one-handed because I have to do an override. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, we'll just say I fired this up. It's a Kubota. It's fine. And then uh, how you do that, there's a chain that just goes in here and that's how you uh, couple it to the lift if you do need to engage your evacuation motor. Right through that. Okay, we'll head back down and uh, see if she goes. 
Okay, as we can see, we got a green light. So we should be good to go. Just got these new boxes done. They've turned out nice. Okay, no trouble with the start there. I generally do what's called a bump. So like you just saw there, just let it run for a second and stop it. That's just, okay, no strange noises, nothing dropped out, okay. So I've got the confidence now. Let's see her go. And away we go. So I got the work chair on this lift right now. So I'm just gonna let her run nice and slow. And at this point, I'm just putting hours on it. We got our new grips. And like I said, just uh, got finished doing an audit on it. So just like to put some hours on it. You're a touch more. <coughs> but it's looking really good. Actually, this is a great old chair. So I, hopefully that explains a few things to you folks. I'll have to do some startups on carpets and T-bars and all the other fine lifts I get to work on. But yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Hope everyone's staying healthy and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.